have any interesting projects going on at the archives right now? Uh, hmm. I, I think the, the quick answer is yes. Uh, and I wish I could just say, uh, just blurt them out right away. I'll, one, one that actually is taking place in this building, the Mac building, it involves our film archive. Um, we are the home of uh, the award-winning, uh, Academy Award-winning um, New Hampshire film producer, Louis de Rochemont. Um, okay. So some, a lot of folks here in New Hampshire may uh, be familiar with Louis de Rochemont as the, in the maker of the, the film Lost Boundaries. It's kind of a film about passing. It's a, fam it's a story based on the Johnson family um, who were African-American, but they were passing as white. And so this, the, so we, ha well, so we have the, actually we have a lot of materials relating to that film. Um, and so uh, some of the other films that Louis de Rochemont made. Um, so in, in the moment, we are rehousing, re-inventorying, cataloging the collection. There's about maybe 500 actual reels of film um, and at the same time, we're working with the de Rochemont family, the Library of Congress, um, and some other organizations to digitally restore some of the films. And one of the films that um, was restored recently, digitally restored, was a film, I think it was made in 1956, 1956, 1957, in that, in that sort of late 1950s, called uh, The Whistle of Eaton Falls. Um, and it's, it starred Lloyd Bridges, and it was the first film that um, Ernest Borgnine, um, you know, maybe that's a little too old school for, for, for it's a little old school for me, I, I, you know. Um, but uh, one of the first films he starred in, uh, we, so it was restored well, in this collaboration with the Library of Congress and the de Rochemont family and premiered on TMC, you know, on, 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 you know on, on, and it got a really nice write-up in the New Yorker magazine. So we're, we're actively um, pro reprocessing, rehousing this, this massive collection um, and finding ways to uh, digitize and share this, this this archive that we have. So it's pretty unique. Um, so that's one thing. I don't know how many how many how many things <laughs> do I have? To <laughs> Let's see. Plus one. Uh, so the the second thing, uh, we we we're we're a home for many significant collections. Uh, um, we're, uh, so the, this the, the collection I like to mention is the Orang Asli archive, which um, Orang Asli, the Orang Asli are um, a group of 18 to 20 um, indigenous um, uh, groups in peninsular Malaysia. These are folks who were there before the Malaysians came. In mm -hmm. So um, we are, if not the largest, repository in the world, one of the largest repositories in the world that collect um, documentation, history, culture of these people. And so um, we've, we've had a lot of collaborations going on. I, I actually right now have been in talks with um, folks at Lund University in Sweden. They have a digital archive of similar materials. So we're collaborating back and forth I'm talking to colleagues at the University of Malaya or Malaysia. They call Malaya there, and so, uh, and we're working with them to collect more material, digitize more material, and um, work with some of the indigenous groups there to train them. And this is this is something I you asked me earlier. What 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 am I involved in? I, I should have said uh, the other thing I'm involved with is sort of grassroots archiving, training people, normal people, you know, like you, you look at you, uh, um, <laughs> to archive their history and you know and, and so forth. So I, I go out uh, when I can locally in the state and, and train folks at different towns and cities. I also do that internationally when I can. So the folks at Orang Asli, you know, we're working to train each of these. Um, you know these uh, indigenous groups to to archive their culture and, and share that that with everyone. So or share it with us so we can archive it. So I, I think yeah I could I could keep going on, but those are, those are some of the big projects that 
are going on. And, um, you know, for such a small collection, it's, um, or just comparatively, we, we do some pretty high-end, I guess. Is that good? High-end stuff, okay. Mm -hmm.